bring it back, man. How about that? Let's go, man. What are you waiting for? Hey, let's do it, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know? And uh, yeah, yeah. But I don't think they're, I don't think they're broken. Everything's dead. You know, they got to come up with a new strategy. And I guess apparently that's uh, the no face, no case, you know, fucking with people online. A new strategy, huh? Things ain't working out for you, Ricky. Are they? It's not what you thought it was going to be. You're afraid of all this opposition, aren't you, Ricky? Now you're challenging Mick Fisher. Hmm. Well, you didn't challenge him last time when he confronted you. You probably got on his down on your knees and sucked his dick, apologizing to him. What's your new strategy, Ricky? What's your new strategy, Ricky? T- tell us. What's your new strategy? Okay, that's cool, man. I'll come to you back, man. How about that? Let's go, man. What are you waiting for? Hey, let's do it, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know? Then Ricky, basically on his show, was claiming that basically he's not an advocate for violence, that Ricky never threatens anybody, but he has. I've been threatened by him. And what did he do to Michael Fazio? What did he do to Michael Fazio? Premeditated assault from behind, from behind. You're right, Ricky, you're going to have to find a, a new strategy. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't think they're, I don't think they're everything's dead. You know, they got to come up with a new strategy, and I guess apparently that's a... Uh, no face, no case, you know, fucking with people online. You know, okay. It's just like the heats on Jasper. The heats on Ricky right now. Can't make any more money off Barry anymore. Those days are over. Poor Barry. Poor, poor Barry. You know, deserves what he's getting. But combine this with Ricky trying to build up Barry's confidence to make him think that it's all good. It's all going to happen. You're going to walk free like nothing ever happened. You're not going nowhere. You're going to be out in a week. You heard that for three plus months. But yeah, like Ricky said, he needs a new strategy. Oh, finding world peas, P-E-A-S, world peas. Let's be generous. Let's help those in need. What's the matter? Your money's running out, Ricky. It dried up with Barry. Is that what happened? It dried up with our boy, your boy, Barry. That's pretty sad, my boy. Let's listen to something prior to this. New people, blah, blah, blah. You know, and uh, so I've been trying, but you know, I just don't even have time fucking to uh, sit there and watch you know, YouTube all day, man. I just don't, you know, that, you know, all this other shit to do, bro. You know, what have you got to do, Ricky? What do you really have to do? Now that I do long, you know, and before I didn't ever have to do, I never had the long, I never longed for a channel ever, man. Believe it or not, since I've been on, I've never walked for a channel. It's just pointless, it gives a shit, but now. You know, they're, gonna, they're, they're all monetized, and so they make money. So, you gotta, I guess you got to... And you're not for making money, are you, Ricky? We're on now, so... I got to file charges on, fuck them. So I got to file charges on them and shit. Thank you, I'm a uh, criminal record. There's cyber stock, you know, whatever it is. But yeah, it's me busy. Busy, busy, busy. Busy, busy, busy. And I'll be busy saving money. Saving money to go to uh, Baraka and me. Jasper and me. Uh, you're saving money for Fazio's case. That's why you're at a $240 a month apartment. Party, the caters party, have a good time with all hot girls. One of these broke ass loser cucks like filling the Philippines. There and well, watch. you know, whether you like filling the Philippines or not, he's leaving, he's living a stable life with a stable relationship. Do you have that, Ricky? No, you don't. You're chasing your own tail. Stuck there with their granny wife <laughs> in Angeles City. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. What's a granny to you? Somebody over 18, Ricky? What's a, what's a granny to you? Granny wives. Okay. Yeah, please subscribe. I need a thousand subscribers. Please subscribe to the shop. Well, the fact that he's on his sick grandpa show from now on, he's trying to build it up to get a thousand subscribers apparently things are not going very well on his other channel or maybe his channel's been put on hold by youtube maybe there's been too many complaints otherwise why is he spending all this time on a sick grandpa channel you know my name's uh ricky drama i got big shot travel i mean i'm sorry i got big shot in the philippines that's my uh, live streaming channel this is sick grandpa this is my talk shit channel you know basically i'm 59 years old uh, I work for Donald Trump. I've done some of the biggest memes in the history of, of the uh, in the history of politics, not just the United States, in the world. I work for Donald Trump. Last meme, barbecue beer freedom guy. Uh, the day after the election in 2020 that took place at Clark County uh, Election Center uh, was very pivotal and it's a very pivotal uh, meme. 200 million views. I gotta go this way. So what you're trying to say is that you're a radical. 200 million views on national TV two weeks. And uh, I didn't get in trouble because I didn't make any 
money. You know, my channels, uh, you know, I, I don't monetize the videos. The only money I make is Super Chat and... Uh, and that's going out the window, isn't it? PayPal or whatever, but I don't monetize any video. You know, because uh, YouTube will just uh, take down, YouTube takes down my channels all the time. Uh, you know, because uh, I'm censored like a nobody's business. And uh, I've been on three years and I'm completely walled off. You know, they don't share my content with anybody. You know, I'm completely uh, walled off, man. So that gets out. Well, your whole brain is walled off and you're chasing your own tail. You know, I just walk around, do my thing. You know? And what is your thing? I'll make some money. You know, luckily I get to make the money off who people like Barry. You know, big pension. So I make uh, about eight thousand. You eight thousand net. Eight thousand after tax a month. Well, he's been <laughs> saying that for a long time. But where's the transparency? Show us that you make eight thousand clear every month. And from what source? Man, I have the hottest girlfriends. I live the five star lifestyle. It's a matter of opinion. I know. I'm absolutely out here. Five star lifestyle living in a dumpy, dumpy, practically section eight apartment. And Barry's actually living better than him. Five star, though. Maybe Barry's five star compared to how he's living. Pulling it out here each and every day. And uh, my motto is you pay, you pay. You motherfucking pay. <laughs> yeah, you'll be paying Fazio, sounds like to me. Is that what this is all about? The cheap apartment? Wondering how much you're going to have to be responsible for Michael Fazio. It'll be Michael Fazio, hopefully, saying, You pay, you pay. <laughs> I don't know. Will Michael Fazio have the last laugh on this? We'll see. <laughs> what was I saying about Mick Fisher? Yeah, so anyway, let's see. You know, they're all broke, you know. Everybody's broke but you. Aren't you the one that would spend a lot of your time in Vegas? Looking for coupon vouchers that people throw on the floor or lose. What does that say? Does that say eight thousand a month? But anyway, yeah, it's, gonna, it's gonna be fun to watch his uh, his uh, destruction, I guess. <laughs> you know, but it, you know, it's pretty funny, man. It's like you know, oh, this is my career. I mean, what? I mean, you know, I mean, and if it's all real, man, he's like, you know, he's the most successful live streamer ever, man. This dude. That hasn't shown his face in six months. Is the well, you know, Ricky has a beef with Jasper, but Jasper was in Cebu, and everybody I've revealed to everybody where Jasper was saying, but did Ricky make a trip to go see Jasper? No, he didn't do that at all. Anyway, Oh, how come the chat's not moving? Chat's not moving because you're no longer grooving. That answers your question. Becoming a has been and never was, Ricky. There it goes. Yeah. Uh, your train wreck. Yeah, your tra train wreck sell in the Philippines genre. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you are a train wreck. Yeah, I hope I get a bounce from it, but I'm not, nothing's gonna happen, man. You know, my, my nobody don't. You know, you know, Barry's still in jail. Very still in detention, you know. I'm not getting donors, you know. I can't even get 30 memberships. I wonder why is that, Ricky? You know, I can't get 30 individual people signing up. You know, my members, you know, my uh, donors are down the drain. My channel's dead, man. My channel's dead. You know, and that, it is what it is. You know, I've been on three years. You know, nobody gives a shit about 59-year-old fat guy walking around. Yeah, you're right on that. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, I mean, even though, even though, uh, you know, I'm highly successful out here, you know, obviously. Yeah, we can see how successful you are. I got the most information out of anybody. I can operate in the Philippines. I can operate in Thailand at the highest level, you know. And what do you mean by operate, Ricky? Is that another way of saying that you know how to scam people for money? I mean, these broke-ass losers just sit in their little shithole, never go anywhere, never do anything. Well, last we checked, you're living in a shithole. They date subpar, you married a subpar girl, you know, but whatever, man. You know. And you, you wouldn't date bar girls. Yeah, let me get that correct. You don't date bar girls. I'll still uh, stay on the field. I'm just on the fields. Stay on the field because what else do I got to do? <laughs> yeah, really, what else you got to do? Which means you just don't have a life. Ah. Now, what was that you saying about Mick Fisher? Uh, apparently, Ricky has challenged 
Mick Fisher and said to bring it on, to bring it up. And Ricky said he don't, he don't want violence. He don't fight with nobody. But what did he do to Fazio from behind? Admit it. You fear Mick Fisher. And for good reason, because you're a coward. And Mick Fisher could probably tear you limb from limb. Export Task Force says he is highly successful at paying for a pretend girlfriend. Very well put. Yeah, highest level. He does road trips to grocery stores and eats in food courts. There you go. Uh, crappy, uh, at the MGTOW Towers, minutes doing their own way towers. I'm your host, Rama, out here. So anyway, uh, we don't get no pay out. Listen, man, you know, everyone knows, everyone knows that, uh, you know, that, that uh, you know, they're not going to get nowhere here with me. They don't work here with me, you know. Obviously, the uh, Mick Fisher thinks he's got a solution uh, to the problem, which is physical violence, you know. He goes experience the same thing. It's all going to blow up in their faces. You know, it's not going to... How do you figure that, Ricky? Work here in Philippines, okay? Going to work, so whatever. Not going to work, but you go and try. You try. Uh, Landers, yeah, you know, we don't... You know, we, got, we got a membership, man, but we just don't go there, you know, because it's... Well, apparently Ricky's putting out the chalice to Mick Fisher to do something. Well, Ricky had that opportunity when Mick Fisher showed up at the bar that time, and Ricky cowered. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Ricky's gun mole over there, Brevis. That's all right, man. I was locked and loaded. I was locked and loaded. I was locked and loaded. What do those guys do? A goddamn piece of shit. Yeah, Nico would crush pig noses. There's no question about it. There's no question about that whatsoever. No, hold on, folks. Okay. Well, a lot of people make a lot of claims on here, but you know, the truth is nobody wants to get in trouble in the Philippines. I think even Ricky knows that, but I, I think Rick, Ricky has just been pushing it to a lot of enemies. And this is the way it happens. The same thing that happened with Barry. Barry did get hit over the head with a bottle from somebody. It wasn't from me. It wasn't anybody I hired, nothing like that, but it happened. It did happen. And a lot of stuff happened that Barry didn't talk about either. He pays her a thousand pesos a day. I, I wouldn't be surprised either because the only way he's going to... Um, as a woman, sure, she doesn't mind at all. Got a brand new phone out of the situation. So, you know, the only reason this guy is because he's putting out some money. It's unfortunate for a lot of people who made donations to him that the money has been paying for his lifestyle. But you guys got caught up on this like you got caught up on just about everything on here and you believe everything he says. Never tried to help Barry at all. It was all a joke. He was basically smacking Barry in the face. He was laughing in the sidelines, if you've ever seen his videos. Remember all the faces he was making about Barry? And I mean, you saw it yourself, okay? Even when he's visiting Barry, he's making faces on camera. Or the time that he played a video about Barry, asking him for help. Can you, can you please go to Manila and take care of this for me? And Ricky did a show on that. He was making all these ridiculous faces on there. Like, right, Barry, we're going to do that for you. And he's over there, like, smirking, and Barry's looking for help. He's a really fine gentleman, this guy. Yeah. But now, he's challenging him. Hi, man. Hi, man. Well, it's pretty obvious uh, there's some form of mental illness going on with this guy. But then again, that's pretty much rampant on YouTube anyway. So it's so by no big surprise that this guy's got a marbles loose. Yeah, he worked for Trump. Yeah, he worked for Trump. He was just a radical. He was a radical. That's all he was. He's one of those guys, you know, you'd find at a frat party, you know, and they, uh, they're having a party. And one asshole wants the attention, so... You know, he sets a call. What kind of guy that this is. Look at me. Look at me. I need attention. Then, of course, he gets the other people to react to what he does. So on a political part of this, you know, he figures by yelling at candidates that he doesn't support, he's really going to change uh, their position on running or whatnot because he showed up and he them how it is. Pretty sick, man. You heard that too? The pig nose claimed. The rate for him was 5K per day. I would not be surprised. Why do you think he's been pushing his donations? He can't afford to keep her. 
So he had to find some excuse to move into a less than desirable apartment in a really shitty complex and、uh, make excuses for that. Because the fact is, if he wants to keep a woman around, he's just going to have to, you know, like he says, "You pay, you pay," and that's exactly what he's doing. He's paying for all the women he's been with, all their company, no names mentioned. Let's keep it legal here. Every woman he's been with, he's been paying money for, buying them phones and anything that could keep them, to keep them company. Because the fact is, Ricky does not like being alone. It do. Lawyer and doctor, yeah. Barry was like that too. He couldn't stand being alone. I mean, he could only play. He said it. I mean, he could only play as much Xbox as he possibly can play. Ricky feels like a man when he has a woman with him, and if it means that he'd be going out there to go find a woman to basically buy, he will do that, and he has done that consistently, because he's not exactly a catch to any woman. You know, unless he's flashing the cash, I'm sure a lot of women would not mind his company. And how far they go with that company, we don't really know. We don't know if he gets laid. He can say anything he wants. She's hot. She's this. She's a good screw. All that stuff. We don't know that. We don't even know if he can get it up. The guy's got a demon on his lower ankles. He's got high blood pressure. He's got other health problems. We don't even know if he can get the damn thing up. We don't know that. But he'll tell you whatever you want to hear. Sometimes men that come here, foreigners, they they want to pay for companionship. Come on, thumbs up, folks. They want to pay for companionship, but I think in this situation, this is what's going on with him. He's paying for companionship because he's never going to be able to find a solid partner that's interested in him just for him, because he's got a good mind or a kind heart. You know, the guy's a fucking lunatic. No, they don't know. They absolutely do not like. They do not like being alone. No question about that. That was made abundantly clear. Abundantly clear. Okay. You don't have a lot of funds, you know. This is more, sir. You have a link that's accessible, but, but it's great. Yeah, can be very simple quite a bit. And I was even in there when I never had a woman. And I remember how lonely and boring it could actually be. It was definitely it was so boring. I mean, it was horrible. So some guys, foreigners that come here, they pay for their company and. They convince themselves in their mind that this woman is really into me, that she thinks I'm attractive, or uh, or uh, she really likes me. But all they like is his wallet. And I think on some level he realizes what's going on, but he figures that it's better to have company than not. And、I'm, there you go. Philippines Guru says, has Ricky shown us anything in Cebu besides a grocery store? He is a sex pack. That's what he is. He's a sex pack. He's alone. He don't want to be alone. He's been rejected all his life, and he's willing、it's、to、like、pay. Like pretty,、uh, it's not that many people on all that stuff all the time out here, man. Out here,、uh, it's not like that, you know. It's, it's very、uh, open, very spacious. I'm in Dallas, man. Very open, spacious. You have all the accessory, you have all this stuff going on. You know, it's pretty open. So open spaces, but how would you like to be in a jail cell? Could you handle that? That's not exactly open spaces. Ask your friend Barry. <laughs> So Ricky's pretty much saying, "Bring it on, Mick Fisher. Bring it on, anybody." He's saying, "Okay, so an invitation." He、oh, heard it from his own mouth. Bring it on, he says. Bring. Mike, something might be going. He doesn't know. And Mick Fisher, you know, his next trip over there, he, he might decide to say, "And let's see if Rick." No, he's going to have to get into some action with Mick. Get up to anything else. You know, he, his way out, his way of dealing with things is to crucify people, call every name in a book, make somebody. Then when he actually meets up with somebody, he's like a little pussy, like a little pussy. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. Then he'll go back and talk and shit about it now. Yeah. Well, you know what? It all look, dudes. <laughs> it, it catches up with everyone sooner or later. It does. I mean, it caught up with Barry. Nobody ever believed that was ever going to happen. Neither did I, because it was really a challenge to get government operations kind of working on this. It was very difficult. There was so many steps you have to go through. You've got to have the I don't have. It's perseverance. There's、uh, you know sticking to your guns. It's it's、uh, following through with a mission, and it was. 
And I said, this is going on my wall, Ken Glossy. That was my mission. Mission worked. But Ricky don't like hearing that. And there's other people that don't like hearing it either because they want to take credit. For and they can't. Why don't they just be happy that somebody took care of business when they failed in their elect? Yeah. The guys that are claiming to be me, they'll turn out to be the losers on here. He had an opportunity to go. I told everybody where Jasper was staying. Where do I get this information? I told everybody exactly in Horizon. I know Horizon. I've been there 35 times. He was. But, you know, did he go see Jasper? See, Jasper is a little bigger than me. But Ricky found upon himself one time to go get together with Yats. And they sat on the outside in front of Horizon, okay, trying to antagonize me, say he's looking for me, and didn't do what? But he knew where Jasper was. He knew where Jasper was. Why didn't he wait there in the patio for Jasper to come out? Why didn't he do that? Coward. This is the picture of the year. It's, I told you, man, it's going up on my wall. I just I just got to get a frame for it. Not expensive. I'm not going to waste a good frame money on Barry. But it's on my bedroom wall. For me to remind every time I walk by that wall to feel proud of myself that I got that motherfucker. I knocked the fucking grin off his fucking ugly skinny face. That I achieved my goal. And so far, it's been pretty good. Next step is a formal arrest. The next step might be another jail. Then, long time for a trial. Chase is on a trial. So, I think you know the steps on that. And that could be years. Years. So, all the promises that Ricky made to Barry, the purple of Barry don't see it. Barry doesn't see it. All he sees is his hand, brings him food. Hey, I care the next yard. They love me to death. It's because I feed them, and they're not afraid of me. I feed them leftover bones and chicken and stuff like that. Every day. All I have to say is the word meow, and there's like four cats that show up. Well, with food for Barry, and in his sick hillbilly mind, you know, Ricky's here to help him. That talk about him. That really, that he thinks that Ricky wants to help him get free. Scam on YouTube history in this community on what this guy did. Well, not the biggest scam. There are other people on there that were running scams, religious scams, and, you know, raising money to build houses for people, the flocks and everything else, and were driving brand new trucks and everything else. And some of them were driving uh, <laughs> SUVs, like a Toyota, brand Toyota. Got from his, they do. Ricky wants to live the high. Sex Bat Test was the greatest deed in the Philippines YouTube genre history, getting the bummer locked up. But that's what everybody was waiting for, a nation from it. I know four different people that promised 50,000 pesos per head. And they all, again, reneged on the deal because they're fucking cowards. Can't trust them. Nobody can do the job. I said, nobody can do the job. Nobody can do the job than I do, that I can, and that I proved it. I want an award. Philippines Guru says, hey, Roberto, shout out Frank has 100% ownership of J. That's right, I do. You can make up any story you want. If Barry didn't get there by himself, then he would not have. I already told you. Immigration, it's really slow to get around people. I mean, you got, you got to push it. And you have to have a, a case against them. You got to file formal charges on immigration, which we did. My lawyer did, I might say. Well, both of us. That's why he's in there more. That's why he's in there. Face the fact. Maybe you don't like the idea of credit. You try to take credit all you want, but that's not going to change how there it is, man. So Ricky is basically telling Mick Fisher to bring it. By the way, uh, give me an email shout. Frank in Hawaii at yahoo.com. Need to talk to you about something. Seriously. So shout out to Mick Fisher. Frank in Hawaii at yahoo.com. Pretty much everybody knows that social media. But give me a jingle, and you have to prove it's you, answer back to you. That's for sure. Or you can look me up on.
something to talk to you about. I got to go. And uh, thanks for you guys showing up at this unusual time. It's barely two o'clock. Usually there's not many or anybody on at this time. But I'll be in there. So Ricky's challenge, you, everyone, everyone. That's how it starts, my friends, and that's how it ends. It's going to end up like Bomber, or maybe worse, because he's made some really bad enemies on here. And uh, he thinks because of height. He thinks he's not vulnerable physically from anybody out there, but he's so wrong. He's not in good shape at all. He couldn't get into a physical fight with anybody unless on their chest. It prevents their diaphragm from moving and breathing. That's the only way. Big talk. Big talk. The chips are down. He'll go after a senior. A senior. What kind of a challenge is that? A senior. And then again, he's getting pretty close to being a senior himself. Besides his health problems, I don't think this guy can afford to get into it with anybody. I mean anybody. The health of the person that he slapped from behind it was not very good to begin with. And he was a little bit more of an advanced stage than Ricky is. Excuse for what Ricky did. I hope he pays dearly. I hope he does. That's the preparation for the $240 a month apartment. Because Ricky, if anything, wants to show off. The fact that he had to move into $240 a month shit par shit complex says it right there. He's he's running scared. He doesn't want to put out any money. This is not Las Vegas. There's no more coupons. That being said, go there. Learn.